Okay, so this is the third modular patch uh, video. And uh, this is going to be a shorter one because we're just going to explore the Batumi. And we're going to be looking at how we can just use it by itself and then with Mutable Instruments Clouds to make some fun sounds. So what we're going to do is uh, the Batumi has four low frequency oscillators but if we send the oscillator into its highest mode, into its highest frequency, it actually reaches audible rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to patch that into the clouds input, but have the clouds blend all the way down so clouds is not having an effect right now. Turn up our speakers. And we're going to take the first channel just a sine wave of the Batumi. And we start raising that. When we hit the top of that, you can hear the audio now. Now what we're going to do Let's take the second channel of the Batumi and use its saw wave to come out and modulate the frequency of that first channel. So the saw wave is coming out into the frequency. So we're hearing that now. going in audio rate and we get some interesting things there. Now we could use the third channel of the Batumi to modulate the second channel in the same way. So taking the sine wave out, putting it into the frequency of the second. Could actually use the, the fourth channel in exactly the same way. Just taking the let's take the saw this time. So now we're getting some pretty interesting sounds, and we're just using the Batumi right now going straight into the output because clouds is inactive. So now we still have a lot of outputs here in the Batumi that we're not using. Uh, we're only using four of its outputs right now. We can actually use one of these square waves to go out and go into one of the reset inputs here. We could also actually start and 
We can actually then turn on clouds and start getting some cool effects from clouds. So if I turn up the blend of clouds... We start hearing clouds effect. That granular reverb-like effect. And we could of course take some of these outputs, like the sine output of the second LFO, put that into clouds density input. That's going to modulate the density of the clouds. Take one of the square outputs of channel 3, put that into clouds fr freeze input, and that's going to turn on and off uh, the freeze function of clouds. Maybe take the saw wave of the third and feed that into the uh, pitch of clouds. Now we're getting the pitch going higher and lower, which is pretty neat. So you're hearing clouds snap little bits of, snatch up little bits of the Batumi, but change the pitch. Maybe take the sine wave of the fourth channel and put it into the position input of clouds. Maybe the saw of take one of these square waves and put it into uh, the trigger input of clouds. Not sure what that's going to do. Why don't we try it? Just some cool stuff we can do with the Batumi. Um, kind of just using it as a sound source and modulating it with itself and feeding that into clouds. And uh, it's some interesting uh, all sorts of different stuff going on. So that's pretty much it for that patch. Thanks for watching.